So preheat the oven to 375, which happens to be what you're on. So hello, 375. Boop. Alrighty. Hi. Um, my kitchen is something of a disaster right now. So if you're wondering why this setup is also a bit of a disaster, that's why. Um, in spite of that, I'd like to do some baking for Valentine's Day. I've decided to make some sugar cookies. So um, yeah, let's see how that goes. We've got new countertops being put in on the side of the kitchen that you guys are on, and I'm not allowed to get a speck of anything on it, or I will literally actually be disowned. So I'm um, hoping that that doesn't happen. And um, yeah, we'll see, see how this goes. Okay, the recipe that I chose is from a website that I'll link to in the description. Let's see, what's our first step? You wanna beat sugar and butter um, until it's light and fluffy. So I'll get some butter. Alrighty, so it calls for one cup of softened butter. And this presents an issue for me because I don't have a microwave right now. So, I mean, I don't wanna set it in the oven. I feel like that's just gonna melt everywhere and just kill everything. You know what, we're gonna come back to butter. <laughs> Open up the cabinet right there. We can get our ingredients. <laughs> this recipe calls for one cup of sugar. Cool. Sugar. I'm still not sure what to do about butter. Although if I cut it, if I cut it, it'll be smaller. Where are my knives? Oh yeah, instead of heating it up, I'm just sort of making it smaller, and I'm hoping that this helps. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I should wait a little bit longer, but I'm getting really impatient, so I'm just gonna wing it and see what happens. Um, next step is to stir in vanilla and the egg. So vanilla is about a teaspoon, so I'm going with about a capful. Okay. We're just gonna hope that works out well. And stir it in. I feel like my last baking video is all like, this is so much fun, and this one's just like, yeah! Stir, damn you! Alrighty, let's add an egg. And I'm lucky enough that this came from my very own chicken. Whoop. And stir in egg. That is like the grossest sound I ever listened. You're welcome for that grossness that you cannot unhear. Alrighty. Boom. So, um, I don't know if it should look like that, but that's what it does look like. So, next up we got flour and baking soda. So, oof. got our baking soda and about half a teaspoon. And some flour. Ha. Can't get any on the counters or my mother. One third. That oh, seems like about a third, right? All right. <sighs> Carefulest stirring of all time. No flour can go anywhere. Kind of flaky. A little bit. A little bit gross looking. I honestly don't know if that's in focus or not. We'll see. 
Uh, so I have been uh, searching for cookie sheets that I could bake on, and it would appear that I don't have any. So I am looking for something that I can bake on, and it looks like right now my best bet is a pie tin. Hello. So next step up is to take this and shape it into balls and then put it onto one of the four trays here and then flatten it with a glass dipped in sugar. Basically, ah, crumbly, crumbles McGee up in here. And you have a ball. After you've got these into little balls, you gotta take a cup, get some sugar on it, whoop, sugar it up, and then squish it down. Ta-da! Now it's all sugary. cookies they exist some of them are burnt but you know some of them aren't so there's that yep yeah. alrighty uh, these are pretty much cold so I think it's time to do some decorating I hope you liked this video, and um, if you want to make these cookies for yourself, the link is in the description where you can find the recipe and all that. You'll probably do a bit better of a job than I did. Um, yeah, I think that's all. I'll see you next week. Bye!